good afternoon all of you so i am associate professor working at the department of oral pathology and microbiology manipal college of dental sciences mangalore uh, my uh, poster presentation the topic of the presentation is proval method of stature estimation utilizing anthropometric measurements in indian population so according to the greek philosopher he considered the beauty as has an uniqueness in nature and this had a, a definite proportion whatever existed the beauty in nature had a definite proportion this divinity of nature we call it as a golden proportion so this is a useful tool for evaluation of symmetry dominance and proportion and this was been again utilized in our dentistry and even our body parts the all the parts have always have a ratio which is about 1 is to 6 ratio so this ratio is called as a golden proportion so my study is mainly regarding the human identification that is mainly we know that forensic anthropology mainly deals with the identity is required for the medical legal cases to identifying the suspects in case of mass disaster in air crash and also to identifying in case of anthropology so basically the the big force for human identification are age ethnicity sex and stature so the stature is considered to be the main biological profile in identify the humans in case of uh, in case of disaster in case of any air crash so mainly the stature helps in identification so the aim of my study was to uh, identify the individual based on the stature on basis of cranial facial measurements hand and foot prints measurements in indian population so the materials and methods i have taken 100 subjects about 18 about 18 years of age and their height was measured using a standard anthropometric measure by standing erect in the front foot plane and uh, taking the measurements from ground to the most uh, the prominent part of the vertex then i have taken the measurements of the hand and length the hand length was measured from mainly from the midpoint between the radial and ulnar tuberosity and tip of the middle finger as seen in the figure from the base of fifth to the second metacarpus and the foot length foot length was measured as a direct from the, that is mainly the most posterior part of the foot to the tip of the hallux and the foot breadth was measured as a direct distance between the most prominent point on the medial and the most prominent point on the lateral lateral side and i have also taken the measurements of the head circumference where that is mainly the measuring from glabella to glabella which mainly passing the tape about occipital cranium so i have done this uh, statistical analysis where i have used the forward linear regression where i have got this data where uh, for the hand length the height was equal to 1308.05 plus 17.17 which mainly represent the value which has been observed from the hand length from the left side similarly i have taken got the equation for the right hand length the left foot length and right foot length and head circumferences so after the statistic analysis there was a there was a mainly an uh, error of mainly about 63 to 68 mm out of all this mainly the foot length was considered to be a, a better correlation so the proportion of hand and foot and head circumference with height are uh, constants the foot length was considered as a best predictor for the compared to that of the hand length and basically the left foot length was considered to be a single most best predictor for the height measurement so this measurements mainly helps us to identify the mutilated bodies when only we have the some parts of the body parts are uh, available so uh, in my study i have concluded that out of all these parameters the foot length was considered to be the best predictor to identifying the stature of an individual thank you